Georgia's 2021 class is just about wrapped up. The only target remaining four-star safety, Terry and Arnold, who will be making his decision between Georgia, Florida, and Alabama on signing day in February. After that, all eyes look forward to 2022. And that's what this video is all about. I'm going to be breaking down Georgia's top offensive targets in the 2022 class. And let's start at quarterback, obviously five-star quarterback, Gunner. Uh, Stockton decommitted from South Carolina when Will Muschamp was let go. Mike Bobo, the offensive coordinator, a big reason why he committed to South Carolina in the first place. He's now at Auburn. I'm thinking this is a Georgia-Auburn battle, but make no mistake, this is the guy Georgia wants. He is the real deal. Over 3,000 yards passing this year, 45 touchdowns, rushed for over 1,500 yards, uh, 26 more touchdowns. The guy's the real deal. He can do it all. I think he's a very good quarterback. Reminds me of a little bit of Johnny Manziel. He has that it factor to him. He's a dynamic playmaker who can make you miss running uh, and can throw it over you too. I love the fundamentals, everything about him. Uh, he's not the biggest guy, but he's big enough to win and uh, take a team like Georgia possibly to or through a national championship type of run. So he's the guy to keep an eye on. I think he'll be making a decision in the next few weeks. Do think it's down to Georgia and Auburn. Auburn's probably the team to beat right now, but I wouldn't rule Georgia out just yet. So definitely a guy to keep an eye on. Another is uh, Tanner Bailey out of Gordo High School in Alabama. Four-star kid. I believe he took a visit to Georgia. Of course, unofficial visit. Can't uh, uh, talk or speak with the staff. But he was on campus during the bye week, I believe. It was the weekend right before Georgia played Florida. Uh, told me he had a great time. Loved walking around the campus. Told me it was an eye-opening visit. Uh, definitely going to be tough to get anyone from Alabama, uh, especially with Alabama and Auburn playing the way they are. Alabama still with the dynasty going out. And uh, Auburn with the new coaching staff, uh, I think there's a lot of hype around that program right now as far as uh, recruitment goes in uh, the 22 and 23 classes. They're having a little bit of uh, time with the 21 class. But, um, yeah, he's a, a good player and a guy that George, I think, really likes. And um, he can spin it, too. So definitely a guy to keep an eye on. An in-state guy, Ja'Curry Brown out of Lowndes. They missed a few games this year due to COVID, but... Another dual threat guy who can really hurt you with his legs. He's got a strong arm, uh, raw arm talent, still developing that arm, the fundamentals, technique, and all that. But uh, dude's got a cannon, and if he can develop as a passer, he's going to be very, very good at the next level. I think he's Florida's to lose. George has been recruiting him a little bit, but Gunner's their guy, and I think that they're not going to really pursue someone uh, a lot harder until Gunner makes a decision. So those are really the three quarterbacks to keep an eye on. Another one, uh, uh, Cade uh, Klubnik out of Westlake High School in Texas. I think Georgia likes him a lot too. Uh, definitely think he's a guy that they're keeping in touch with, so he's also a name to know. Running back, five-star Emmanuel Henderson is the guy down in uh, Geneva County, South Alabama. Again, it's going to be tough to get him away from Auburn and Alabama uh, but he does have family in Columbus. Uh, I think Del McGee has been on top of this one for a while. He knows the West Georgia area as well as anyone. Definitely a guy to keep an eye on. Speed, power, he checks all the boxes. Again, it's going to be tough to get past Alabama and Auburn, I think. But I think he is Georgia's top guy, so he's definitely one to know. Running back's a little tough. Uh, I don't know exactly where they're going to go. Uh, there's not a ton of in-state running backs that they're really pursuing. Uh, Relique Brown is a kid out of California. He's another five-star. George offered him over a year ago. Uh, he's a guy I know a little bit. He always tells me that he's talking to the Georgia staff, feels like a priority, uh, loves Coach McGee and all that. But uh, everything that I've been told leads me to believe he is not going to Georgia right now, that they're not the team leading. Oklahoma, uh, definitely a team standing out to him. I think Ohio State is and a few teams out on the West Coast. But definitely a guy to know and a guy that the Georgia staff is still pushing for. Tevin White, uh, I believe he's from Virginia. He's another guy who says he keeps in constant you know, contact with Del McGee. I don't know where he is on Georgia's board. I don't know if he's a take right now, but I think he is a good player who I think he could play at Georgia. He's a nice running back. I don't know if he's a game changer, but I do think he's probably an SEC running back, so definitely a guy to know there. Katrin Allen, I know as a Georgia offer, down at IMG Academy. I think Alabama leads for him. And Trevor Etienne has a Georgia offer. Uh, obviously, Travis's younger brother uh, at Clemson. Uh, Louisiana native, I think LSU is definitely in the mix. And if Clemson comes calling, I think that, that could be tough to get around also. So those are a few running backs. Now, wide receiver, 
Again, not a ton of in-state guys, but a couple to know. Uh, Kojo Antwi out of Lambert, kind of right down the road from here, uh, from me uh, in Forsyth County here. I saw him play this year. He was one of the best players I saw all season. Uh, took two scores to the house. There was one screen pass where he juked out about five guys, zigged it, uh, zigzagged his way for a touchdown against West Forsyth. He was very, very good, explosive. He's a big Georgia target. Uh, Texas A&M, I believe, was his dream school. Ohio State offered not too long ago, and I think that was really big to him. I think the Buckeyes are definitely on his mind. I would say those are the top three right now, Georgia, Texas A&M, and Ohio State. But Georgia's really pushing hard here, and um, yeah, he reminds me a little bit of Malcolm Mitchell. That's kind of what I saw from him when I saw him play live, so definitely a guy to know. Another one who says he loves Georgia, talks to Cortez Sankton all the time. Another kid out of California, C.J. Williams. Dream School's Alabama, if they push for him, they're going to be tough to beat. But Georgia is a team that stays in, in constant contact with him, is, uh, is what he told me. Another in-state guy, though, out of Brickwood, Sam Mbake, 6'3", 195 pounds, he told me. Uh, I saw him play this year twice. The first time, I think he had eight catches, touchdown, uh, 90, 100 yards. Uh, he's a big body guy, possession type, but he beat his guy beat a few times. Uh, and the ball wasn't thrown his way on a couple of them, but uh, I did see him get by defenders. No, he's not just a possession guy. Uh, he's you know he's got some speed to him uh, as well, especially for six three hundred ninety five pounds. So uh, George is offered, and uh, if they continue to push for him, I think they're going to be the school to beat. Um, tight end, there's only one target. Tight end Oscar Delp of West Forsyth, another kid right down the road from me. I've seen him play a few times. Legit six four, close to six five, about two hundred twenty pounds. Uh, runs routes like a wide receiver, uh, very fluid, athletic. Uh, he's a pass-catching machine, nine touchdowns in nine games this year, I think uh, close to 800 yards. Uh, he's a big-time weapon. You can put him on the outside, give him a jump ball, he's going to go get it. was very big in big moments this year against some top teams in the region when I saw him play. Uh, he checks all the boxes. He's very good on uh, the edge uh, and uh, run blocking. He's a big guy. He can overpower you, but... He's lean and athletic, and he can put on even more weight and keep that speed and athleticism. Uh, again, the ability for him to run routes and get open for his size is something special, and I think he is one of the top tight end prospects in the country and a major, major Georgia target. Uh, but they're going to have to hold off Michigan, Stanford, Ohio State just offered, Alabama's offered, uh, Clemson's offered. Everyone's offered now. They're all going to come at him. They see what he can do in the passing game. He's the ideal tight end for this era of college football, and uh, he's going to climb the rankings. There's no doubt about that. He, I think he'll end up being one of the top tight end prospects uh, in the country when it's all said and done. Uh, again, major Georgia target there. On the offensive line, Tyler Booker, five-star guy from IMG. I think he's Georgia's top target right now. He told me recently that he hears from Scott Cochran, Del McGee, Matt Luke. He hears from everyone. He's a guy who can play uh, both offensive line and defensive line. He told me that uh, offensive tackle is where they're recruiting him to play. So definitely got to keep an eye on. He's massive. Uh, I mean, IMG doesn't let anyone play for them. If you get playing time at IMG, you're a stud. Evan Neal played there. They just pump out offensive linemen. So he's at a place where he's getting developed each and every day. He's going to come to college ready to play and uh, to fight for playing time. And if you're a Georgia fan, you want that school to be Georgia. He's a big-time player and a guy who, uh, again, talks to Georgia pretty consistently. Uh, a couple in-state guys to know. Addison Nichols out of GAC. Nicest, coolest kids. Uh, one of the coolest kids that I've covered in this class. Doesn't have a mean bone in his body. I think that's probably his only red flag because he's a big guy. He's got the length. Uh, great in pass protection. Uh, a mauler in the run game. He looks the part. Very, very smart kid, very bright. Um, he's, he's what you look for. He's a very good, solid four-star guy, in my opinion. I think he's a pretty good player. Another one is Dane Shore. Started at Denmark, went to IMG Academy. I think now he's at Kings Ridge. Uh, another guy, he's 6'5", 6'6". Six, six, six. He's got the wingspan, uh, close to 300 pounds, probably a little heavier than that maybe. But uh, a, another guy who did really well uh, at Denmark, I believe that was his sophomore year, and uh, he was very good in a pass-happy offense, did a lot of pass protection, so he's used to that type of stuff. 
uh, practiced at IMG, uh, went against some top uh, defensive linemen there in practice, found his way back here. So he's another in-state guy to know. There's not a ton of them on the offensive line, um, but he's one guy to keep an eye on, especially in-state. So that's really it, guys. I really appreciate you all watching this video. As always, stay tuned to the next video coming up right now, and I will see you over on the website.